Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. All right, so you've got your Behringer wing and you're wondering what is a bus, what is a matrix, and what is a main? They work a little bit differently on this board, so I'm gonna go ahead and dive in and explain those to you. So on the Behringer wing, you do have, if we go to uh, bus masters here, you do have 16 buses. So a bus can be a combination of channels. Uh, typically, uh, you would have maybe wireless in-ears as a bus, so you're gonna mix those channels as a submix and send them back to your musicians or your vocalists as a wireless in-ear mix. So that could be a bus. I also have buses for things like, um, I use the Behringer P16 personal monitors, and so I, I group our drums together in a bus and send those to the P16s because of the limited channels there. So you do have 16 buses on the wing, and those can be a group of any of the channels. You're also going to use the buses for effects like reverb and delay. All right, so then we have matrixes. Can be a little confusing. A matrix is very different than a bus. So if we go to main matrix here, your first four channels are the mains, and then you have eight matrixes. So if we cycle through. So a matrix, again, you have eight of those on this board. A matrix can be a combination of a bus or a main. So you can send a bus to a matrix and you can send a main to a matrix. So if you look on our screen here, if we go to the mains, so here's my main left, right mix, you know, my front of house speakers. If you go on the screen here to the very bottom, you have matrix sends. So I can send my main left, right mix to matrix one, for instance. I could do additional processing on that and then send that to an output. So I use this for our live stream setup. I would go ahead and send our main mix to a live stream matrix, do some additional processing, maybe change the EQ a little bit, add some compression for a broadcast mix, um, you know, whatever you want to do there, and then you could send that out to a, a different output. So a matrix cannot have channels directly in it. So you cannot use a matrix like you can a bus to mix in-ears or mix multiple channels together. So you can send a bus or multiple buses to a matrix. You can also send mains to the matrix. You do have one additional option. So if I go and I select matrix one, and we go through the settings here, they do give you the option of sending two direct channels to a matrix. So you could send just two channels to that matrix, but you can send no more than that. So you could send one or more buses one to two channels, no more than two channels to that matrix or a main to the matrix. Now, mains are probably the biggest difference on this board. So if we go to our main matrix section here, the first four uh, faders are mains one through four. So these are um, built you know, to be your left, right mix. They can be stereo. So my first one is left, right out. And then I run my subs, I would call it aux fed, um, you know, from back in the day. But my subs are on a, a separate main. So I'm feeding my subwoofers with that main. And I'm only putting certain things like the bass guitar and the kick drum in that uh, main mix going to the subs. That way I'm not driving the subs with a vocal channel that I don't want in those subs. So that's another one. And then I do have my live stream mix set up as a main. Now, one cool thing about the Behringer wing with the mains is they actually operate like a bus. Little convoluted why they do that, um, but you can kind of get around the fact that you only have 16 buses and you have those four additionals. Obviously, you're going to have to use at least one of them for your mains, but that could gain you three more. So you can do sends on fader for the mains and you can do a mix of any channels to it. So you can send uh, any combination of channels, buses, matrixes to your mains, and then you can route those to your outputs. So that's a real quick example of the difference between a bus, a matrix, and a main on the Behringer wing. 
Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.